Hello, and welcome to Your Sparkly Brand, the podcast for game-changing, badass business owners who aren't afraid to sparkle and stand out. We're all about fighting the status quo in marketing and branding so you can reach more people and make more money. Coaches, creatives, and thought leaders, here you'll discover how to become magnetic AF so you can build and scale a sparkly empire. I'm Lauren Tassie, a digital marketing expert for coaches and course creators, and I'm joined by my co-host, the branding and web design queen, Megan Gersh. Hi, Megan. Hey, how's it going? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. What was your sparkly moment this week? Well, I'm getting ready to go on vacation next week. So I'm just, we're just going to put that as part of it. You know, it's a little like, it's a little bit stressful, but it's also like, okay, but you gotta, you gotta figure this out. You gotta figure out how to go on vacation too. So that's, that's going to be so fun. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. What about you? What's your sparkly moment? So this morning I was working on a new sparkly VIP offer. At Ooh. first, it's only going to be for my existing clients and people that I've worked with in the past, just because I want to kind of like test it and see how it goes, how it feels in like my energy how it feels for them. And I want to make sure that, you know, like everything is running smoothly, but I'm pretty excited about it. It's like not something that I've ever offered before. Basically, it's going to be if you wanted to just hire me for a whole day, then I am just at your disposal to work on, you know, any number of priorities that you might have design wise. So pretty excited about that. So more details on that coming soon. If I decide to roll it out to more people. Oh, I love that. That seems super smart, especially for like people you've already worked with. So you have that like foundation there that that you really can just jump in on whatever. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited. All right. So what are we talking about today? So today we're talking a bit about why I made the switch from WordPress to show it and also what I've been doing with the platform. So as kind of a starting point, I created my business and kind of launched my very first like on my own kind of style website when I started my business four and a half years ago. And it was just getting to the point where it was kind of getting hard to update. It was like one of those things where the theme wasn't like updating as much as like staying up to date with WordPress standard. And it also started to like not feel aligned with where I was at in my business. Like it felt like very much like where I was at four years ago. And it was like mm -hmm. one of those things where it's like you keep like patching things here and there, but like it just, you know, how it goes. Like it just wasn't up to where I'm at now. Things have changed a lot in my business. I've also updated my services quite a bit since I first started. And so now I'm only offering branding and website design. And I needed a website that really kind of spoke to that and really, you know, I've also changed my audience has shifted quite a bit too, since I first started my business. And I really wanted my new website to really speak to those creatives, those out of the box thinkers, those folks that are not afraid to kind of go bolder in their business. And so I really needed that website to attract those types of people. So it just felt like the right time for a redesign. This is where I had to make a choice. Basically, I could have, you know, redesigned my website on WordPress. It was already on WordPress. That probably would have been an easy option. But I also had heard about this platform called Show It, and I was curious about it because Show It is a platform where it's basically, it's very drag and drop. Like it's very much like a pick something up, put it over here. And that is where it is. You can literally have complete design creative freedom when it comes to like the placement of things on the page. So that part of it was really appealing to me. And so I started to dig into it a little bit. And once I started playing with it, it almost as like if a website met like Photoshop is how, kind of how I think of it. And it's like kind of creates like this design playground for you to create whatever you'd like. And so once I started digging into it, I was like, this is incredible. Like I know that I wanted to redesign my website with my rebrand and my shift in my business. And so I got to thinking like, what if I just use my own platform as kind of like the, the testing ground for like, you know, do I want to pursue this other website platform? And so I I started kind of playing around in there and I started kind of toying with like putting together pages for my own site. And I was like, at a certain point, I was like, absolutely, this is the way that I want to go. So I went all in on it and I just decided to dive into the redesign of my website there. Okay. So question for you, and I know we've sort of covered this, but I just feel like even I don't fully understand a web designer and a web developer are generally not the same person. Like maybe you could do both, but they're kind of like different strengths right? Correct. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So like the designer is you and that's somebody with like a vision and like an aesthetic and can do that. Where like the developer is the coder, right? That's the person who like makes it work and doesn't just make it look pretty. Yeah, exactly. And in the past I had been doing both. I really love like the design side of things. And that's why I think I was really drawn to the show it platform, just because like you don't need a developer to put together a website. It's very, very simple to go in, click the piece that you want to edit and update the text or click the piece that you want to move to the other 
other side of the page and drag it over there. It makes it extremely easy to navigate and super customizable. The other thing that I love about Show It is that it has amazing SEO capabilities. So this is something that I was definitely looking for, especially because I was overhauling my website. I wanted to make sure that I had SEO at the top of my mind when I was redesigning my website. I feel like when I did my first website of like my business on my own, it wasn't top of mind for me when I was kind of putting that together. And so there was a lot of pieces that I didn't put in place when I was building that first website. So all of that, and not to mention also, I learned a lot of things along the way in those four and a half years about SEO, about how to optimize and all of that kind of stuff. And so I wanted to integrate all of those new findings into my new build. And so when I was researching platforms, Show It was also, it was a platform that accommodated all of these SEO capabilities, which like if anybody follows me on social media, they know that I gripe about like Wix not being like what it needs to be for SEO. And there's other platforms out there too, where it's like, they're great design wise, but like, you know, when it comes to function, it kind of lacks in a few places. And so show it just felt like this like perfect place where it was like, I got all of the design functionality that I wanted and I could get all of the technical pieces in place to really like help to boost my organic traffic. And the other part of this too, is that if you have a blog on show it, it actually uses WordPress as like the back end. And I know this is kind of getting like a little bit confusing. So you have show it to actually build your regular pages on your site. So like your homepage, your services page, your contact page, all of that. You use show it to build the skin of your blog, but then the word, there's a part of show it where it's WordPress backend, where you actually input all of the, like the post title, the post content, the tags, all of that stuff. So it looks looks like WordPress when you're going to create your, your blog posts, but it brings it into show it and skins it and show it so that w you have that design flexibility of like what that, pla it's like a beautiful marriage of these two platforms. So if you're familiar with WordPress, it's a great option to make your posts look even more customizable. I honestly like look back at like some of my old WordPress builds, like for clients. And I'm like, man, I wish I would have known about show it sooner because some of them have like really extensive blog components. And I wish I could have given this gift of like design flexibility to them and built it on show it. But you know, hindsight's 2020. How, like how, I feel like I've been hearing a lot about show it over the past year, but I feel like I didn't hear much about it before that. Has it really been around that long in terms of like use, like people actually using it? I think it's been around for a few years. It's just one of those things where it's like WordPress and Squarespace and a few of the other ones have been kind of like the leaders in website development. So it, it definitely feels like a, feels like that like cool kid that like not everybody knows about yet, but like, it's such an amazing platform. And like, as a web designer, like I wish I would have known about it sooner too, because like I would have made the switch a lot sooner. It's one of those things where it's like, you get into the platform and you're like, as a designer, you're like, God, like there's, <laughs> there's just so much possibility, possibility. You can just, you know, put things upside down if you want to like, so yeah, it's pretty cool. The other thing that I wanted to mention going back to the blog really quick is that because the blog is based on WordPress, you also get access to all of those amazing WordPress plugins. And so you can use rank math, you can use cache plugins, you can use different like recent post kind of style plugins and stuff like that to really beef up your WordPress blog. And like I said before, like this is a platform that like, I hope to start designing sites on this platform for clients because it's going to make it super, super easy for clients to be able to go in after the site is done and, you know, just be able to update whatever they need just because like it's so user-friendly how many of people that come to work with you maybe in the past year or so like are committed to their platform or like you you know you're like show it's this cool thing they're like no i want to stick with squarespace like where where does your clients people that are sort of at that point where they want like a real professional custom website where are they at and are they like open to that i think it really depends on the client i would say they're about 50 50 when i've had clients that have a really extensive blog most of the time those have been on WordPress and those people are very much like they want to stay on WordPress because that mm -hmm. WordPress has a steep learning curve. And so I think once you get to like used to that platform, like, I think that's like, you need to stay there. That being said, show it would be an easy, you know, kind of lateral shift for you mm -hmm. just because it uses the same backend for the blog. But yeah, I think it's about 50, 50. So if this is sounding interesting to you, if you are a business owner that is looking to maybe shift your website. Show it would be a really good choice for you if you 
are a service provider, if you are a creator, if you're an influencer, if you have a personal brand, again, if you have a blog, or if you have a handful of digital products, it's not really set up for robust e-commerce stores. I would say the maximum for products is probably about like 20 products. I would say I wouldn't want to manage 20 products on show it, to be honest with you, just because like, you're going to have to use some kind of outside plugin, like thrive cart or some kind of integration like that, that actually takes the payments and has to integrate with the platform. It doesn't have built-in e-commerce functionality. So that is an extra cost that you would have to account for as well. So for me, and maybe some of our listeners, like you say WordPress and I just go, Ugh. <laughs> I, I think maybe like 10 years ago, I wasn't like, I'm going to build myself a website. And like, it was just like, I couldn't, couldn't comprehend it. I couldn't like, it just, it was a hard no from me. Maybe now I'd be better, you know, maybe now I'd be better at, but I feel like there's maybe a, a number of people who are in that boat who it's just like not user friendly, especially if you're like looking at like a blank, you know, I don't know, the gray box or whatever it is. How, how can show it help us with that? Cause it seems, it seems like it's, there's so many possibilities and it looks so good, but like, what if we're just, we're, we're not you, you know? Yeah, definitely. So this is why I have started to create website templates. So I've had this idea for a while in my business. And it's one of those things where it's like, I kept putting it on my to-do list and I'm like just now getting around to executing it. But once I dug into the show it platform and I saw the potential there, I was like to myself, I was like, this is the perfect platform for building out templates for other people to implement. Just because I, I think the reason that I hesitated on making templates for so long is because like, if you make a WordPress template, you have to send out updates to the different marketplaces and places where you sell them, like, you know, every few months or so, you know, with show it, all of your pages are built within the platform. So, you know, you don't have to keep updating things. You don't have to keep, you know, pushing buttons to update plugins. I started to build these website templates for service providers because I wanted to create essentially like solutions for those business owners who wanted a kind of bolder website, wanted to, you know, get their hands on something a little bit different than what you see on all of these creative market kind of style sites and marketplaces. Because if you go on there, a lot of those templates look all the same. They all look beige, very boring, very much like almost like if you're going to like a house staging, right? Like everything is just like white and beige and they just, they make it that way so that anyone can really envision, you know, being there. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. So this is why I have started creating these website templates, which they take the guesswork out of essentially how to lay out your pages. I've strategically created them from a marketing mindset. So I have put the different sections in, in the order that you're going to need them. I've added the different elements to each section that I imagine that you might need. Literally, all you have to do is go in, swap the images, swap the text, and this is going to set you up in a position position to launch in days instead of weeks waiting for your website, sometimes even months if you have a huge website. So it's a huge advantage. Again, this is like a platform that you don't need any code knowledge. Everything is super drag and drop. And I also, when I was creating these templates, I wanted to include some SEO image optimization instructions. So that way you wouldn't make the same mistake that I did when I was building my first website and that you get those keywords integrated into your website on image level and an alt text level, all of that kind of good stuff. And one last thing that I wanted to mention here too, is that Lauren and I have partnered to offer you a special copy audit. So if you wind up getting one of these website templates, you can run your website by Lauren to see if your the actual text on your website looks good, if it can be improved and all of that good jazz. Yeah. I love doing copy audits. I actually need to start putting, putting it out there more as like an offer because I forget about it, but I really love going through people's websites and being able to give somebody like valuable, actionable items in like 10 minutes that you can just like change this, do this. So I'm super excited about that. Yeah, for sure. And if you're interested in any of the templates and checking them out, we'll put a link in the show notes, but it's just megangersh.com slash shop. Awesome. Yeah, they look so good. Everything that I've seen you share, I I just love, they're just so bright and colorful like you are and all your work. And anybody who like has been eyeing you and has like, oh, I want to work with Megan one day. Like this is a great sort of baby step towards that. That is not the investment that you, you know, your custom services are. Yeah, exactly. That was the goal. So awesome. So if you are ready to make the switch to show it and want an easy way to do it, check out Megan's templates. There's a link in the show notes and that's all we've got for today. So until next time, stay sparkly.